Your GPU is probably one of the most important parts of your gaming rig because it can play all the games on the highest preset possible. With all this horsepower it comes with a lot of heat and we still want it to be quiet. For this we have a heat spreader on each GPU, some are better than others, but on my 550Ti there is a heat spreader with only one fan. And I try to improve the thermals and the noise by replacing all the thermal paste to my CZ which is pretty decent thermal paste. For the test I ran Furmark with overclocked and my not overclocked GPU. And for the fans I had them put to 60% and on my custom fan curve which you can see now. And now you can see my overclock settings, they aren't the highest but it would be unstable if I did anything else. And without any further ado let's get into the benchmarks. As you can see the uh, results aren't that surprising. Overall the tem temperatures dropped about 4 to 5 degrees. At the 60% it, without overclock it was a difference of 4 degrees. On the custom curve it was only 1 degrees only in a negative direction. This is probably the fault of the finger itself. And at 60% overclocked it was a difference of 3 degrees. And with the custom curve overclocked it was only 2 degrees. So is it worth it to buy some thermal paste and to replace the thermal paste of your GPU? No, I don't recommend it. If you want the extreme temperatures or the extreme quiet PC, alright, you may do it. But first of all, it voids your warranty. And the payoff isn't that much, only a few, deg few degrees, which you are probably not going to notice in gaming or something. So if you want to do it yourself, it is your decision. I can't say what you do, but I certainly don't recommend it.